What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Flint Hill Catfishing. This is Brian and I'll be talking today about how to outfit a recreational kayak for catfishing. Uh, I didn't have a brand new kayak to start out with. I already had a recreational kayak in the garage and I'm here to tell you if that's all you got or that's all you can afford right now, you can make it work and you can pull a lot of fish in the boat. So stay tuned. So let's get into it. I got a uh, Perception brand Swifty 9.5 DLX. This is, was a kayak that was actually given to me and it's nine and a half feet long. It's a sit in clearly and it's, uh, you know, it serves a purpose. It's not as comfortable as a sit on top. You cannot stand in it. If you do, it's uh, falling in the water is inherent. Uh, but it's, you know, it serves a purpose. And I put a lot of fish in the boat, as I said earlier. So I'm gonna walk you through the stuff I got on my kayak. You don't have to have all of this. Really, two rod holders would be ideal, but I'm just gonna show you what I got and you can just set yours up like you wanted. If you got a boat sitting around, these are just some ideas you can think about that help me a lot. I'm gonna avoid the camera things like my Yak Attack pole and some of the other GoPro accessories that I have on here. We're not gonna talk about those right now. We're just gonna go through the fishing stuff. So to start off at the front, um, I have a sonar that snaps in right here. It's a Garmin Strike. Yeah, Striker 3, and it snaps in here. I don't keep it on here when I'm not using it. And there's a transducer, and I have a little Scotty adapter here. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much details on these adapters. If you're looking for something to mount this stuff with, go on Amazon or online and check out Scotty's. They have a lot of different adapters, but that's for my transducer. So I just loosen that guy up. I have two hash marks on it right in here to line up so I know that the transducer is sitting level when I'm in the kayak sitting sitting up straight. Anyway, that's that. I put this little, it was like an epinephrine pin or something, I don't know, for my kids when they're small, and I took it, the pin out and I stick my leads up in here that go to my sonar when I'm not using it so they don't get corroded and other things when it rains. This is just like academy sports style box that I use to put my battery in. I have a 12 volt battery that I keep inside of here. It's got a gasket in it, so it's waterproof. I kind of did a really beautiful caulk job here, you can see, but it keeps water out. I got my leads already ready and I just kind of, I kind of keep these guys wrapped up in here, but I can put that battery in there and it fits perfectly and it's waterproof. So that's mainly what I'm looking for. All right, moving on back. Um, I have several of these Scotty bases on here that I use for different things. Sometimes I'll take this camera hold, uh, camera rod and I'll put it up in this Scotty base where I can reach it easier or whatever. But um, there's tons of ways to strap cable if you end up, you know, getting a sonar. But I just use these little guys here you get from Home Depot. Uh, also, this is my knife there. Glad I didn't lose that. This is a bait tray. You can tell it's disgusting right now, but this is a bait tray that I you know, kind of put all my stuff on. I can cut up bait on this. I really, really like this. Underneath is just a Scotty's holder. You might have to do some stuff to level it. You can see I put some nuts in there to uh, put a spacer in for it, but it's just a Scotty's bait holder. And I love it. I've had it for three years now, and I have cut up a lot of shad and brim and perch on that thing. I mean, you can tell it's all disgusting nasty and just the way I like it whatever um, anyway so that's that and then for my convenience I put a little cup holder here um, which you know I can put a beverage of choice in um, that it's very convenient also I throw a lot of sinkers in there when I'm not using it or things I need quick access to I, I like it and it just has a little base if you can see it here let me see if I can get it in base kind of snaps in you can see right there it there's a pin that slides in right here's a little tab and it slides back in there kind of like a walkie-talkie microphone the way or a uh, radio microphone you put in a car you know for transmitting on a ham radio or whatever it kind of slides in there a little clip anyway you'll see it and understand it when you get it and there's what the clip looks like on the bottom you can actually put this against something mount the clip and then just slide it onto that so you kind of get the picture there um these are my scotty's rod holders it does not come with this upright piece right here doesn't come with it this is extra i bought this extra and it's worth it because when you just get this with the small scotty's base that 
or a piece that fits into Scotty's base down here, it's not long enough. So you end up having trouble and your rod, your rod hanging out of the back here will be down really low, all in your knees and everything is cumbersome. So I definitely recommend getting these and uh, they're plenty strong enough. Um, these things, I've had big catfish on here um, and you know, stuck in one rod holder while I had another one on the other rod and uh, they hold really well. Um, so anyway, you can just unscrew this guy and put this onto this upright and store your little uh, piece that, that goes in there to the side. I can't remember what the thing's called, so yeah, the little piece. Anyway, you can see I got two of those right in the front. And I like those because I can just take it like this, pull up, and this guy rotate. So I can actually turn this any angle that I want and then lock it down and it will not rotate after that. So I can get the angles on it that I like. So right there, I got two rod holders that are right at my fingertips and I like that. Uh, in the back, I got this Canon one here because I have one rod that has a big handle on it, one of those foam handles that won't fit well in there. And that's something I'll tell you, the big foam handle like ugly sticks and stuff don't fit good in those. And the gimbal um, end on the bottom of the rod is too big to go through it many times. So these are a good choice if you don't have that. Um, before you, you know, screw any of these things down to a kayak, anything like that, make sure that you like put a rod in it you know, or a stick or something, or at least just reach out where you can see, can you grab the rod easily from where you're sitting so you don't have to be leaning all over the place. Um, yeah, so I got two in, the, two in the back, two in the front. That gives me the capabilities to run out wide with these two and then straight forward kind of at an angle like that. So my, they're kind of going out like that. Anyway, that gives me a good spread for the most part. Um, those are the most important items. The bait tray you don't really need, but it does come in super handy. Rod holders are a necessity. Cup holders, not. Uh, four rod holders, not a necessity. I mean, one rod holder, start out well you, where you, you know, what's affordable for you and just go from there. But, um, you know, you can add rod holders as you go. Uh, right here, this is a very important piece of equipment. This is the Scotty's anchor. Uh, system and the rope runs through it what happens is when you pull this guy out that comes up the rope can go down and let the anchor down and then it pulls it tight and it won't go anymore it gets pinched right there so that's how it works and this thing is awesome because uh, I put a 17 pound kettlebell on the on the back of it I find the kettlebell is the best because it doesn't get hung on everything you don't have to do it that way, but um, it seems to work really well. And then I just drag the rope up to the front here. You can see right there. And I can grab it and just pull it um, towards me and pull the anchor up or let it back down. It's really helpful. Um, make sure you don't anchor in any strong current or try to. That can uh, that can not end well sometimes uh, like you'll end up in the water. Anyway, that's kind of that's kind of what she looks like. So you can see this is not super complicated. A few Scotty's accessories, a recreational kayak, and you can start getting to places you can't reach from the bank and putting some fish in the boat. So I encourage you to go for it if you're thinking about it. It's not expensive and it works. So if you have any questions, something I've left out, feel free to comment or send me a message and I'll be glad to answer that. And I'll see you on the next one. This is Brian, Flint Hill Catfishing. Peace.